Hey guys, Berto here. This is something that I've been looking forward to uh, for months now. If you've been watching my channel, you also know that I'm into aquaponics as well as uh, marine fish keeping. The aquaponical, and that's the name of it, aquaponical comes from the aquaponic source company in Colorado. You could find them on aquaponicsstore.com or aquaponicsource.com. How it works is the fish excrete their ammonias and byproducts after you feed them. They poo and pee in the water and it's pumped up through the grow bed, the media here, which acts as a biological filter for the fish and as a fertilization and grow bed media for the plants. Your spices, your herbs, uh, your food, your flowers, whatever you want to put up there. So next up I'm going to find a suitable place for it. Uh, see if I can't scrounge up a old fixture, light fixture for my plants and uh, see what I can't put in this thing. Okay, assembly of the aquaponicals couldn't be easier. It comes in basically three parts. You got your sump, you got your tank, and then you've got your grow bed. Uh, with You fill the sump first with some lukewarm tap water okay uh, it gives you a convenient fill line so you know how far to fill it place your pump and your tubing on it and then you want to just slide the tank over the pump tube now I've decided to put some blue backing on this one uh, I opted not to use the very realistic greenery I'm just going with the blue. Um, just slide it right on there. The pump comes with suction cups. So once you find the position for it, just lay the tank right on there. Just like that. It's got a cutout in the sump in the back for the pump cord. And you're ready for the next step. We've included a bobber that you put in the overflow and they've given you an o-ring now that bobber's floating on the water that's in the overflow that o-ring is two inches below the red now when the system's running you're going to see the bobber go down because the water from the sun <clears throat> is going to be going to the grow bed and cycling through the system but uh, when that red indicator gets to be at that o-ring that's when you add water. I've modded the underside of the grow bed under the hood if you will um, with some LED strip lights. Uh, I had to notch this grid and this grid to get this 12,460 nano um, fixture on. I really didn't need the uh, the blue there, but that's the only thing I could find online. Got these at Foster Smith. Um, and then I put the moonlight in there. Again, I had to notch here and here to wrap up the, to keep, to secure the uh, other end of the daisy chainable moonlight. I had to drill a couple of holes in the grid and put a uh, zip tie on there. So everything zip tied together. Uh, the only way I could figure to get the power cords out from here was to go up through the feeding tube. And uh, that's going to come back across my grow bed, which won't really look that bad when it's planted. You probably won't even be able to see it. Um, I'll still, be able to still have plenty of room. I've zip tied the lines together, so I've still got plenty of room through the feeding tube to feed the fish. And this is what, whoa, that's bright. That's what that one will look like. And then that's, of course, that's the daytime. And for night, the moonlight. Um, we're going to take the little, one of the little rubber gaskets that it comes with and put it right in this hole here, which is the intake for the grow bed from the pump down in the sump. So without this it's not going to work so keep that in mind. Now 
very carefully. I'm going to place this on the top of the aquarium, like so. Okay, now we're going to place our media guard over the siphon. It's got four cutouts in the base of the grow bed and it fits nicely in. And then we're going to put the bell inside the media guard. Now, if, you've, if you don't know what a bell siphon is, it's pure magic. It's a siphon that pulls water uphill. So it will essentially drain, the water will come up, hit that siphon, fire, and it will drain this whole bed. So it's constantly doing the flood and drain, flood and drain, flood and drain. It's awesome, the plants love it. Uh, it comes with this little pH buffer bag that they recommend you change out every six months. It's available on their website, again, aquaponic source. And I want to put mine, instead of put it anywhere in the tank or in the grow bed, where it's going to come in contact with the water. but So I'm going to put mine right here by the feeding tube with the string hanging out. And now we're going to start loading it with some media. It's very important to wash the media very well. It is clay and it will cloud the water quickly. Uh, I've also repurposed an old reflight LED so we will have a little bit of light on the grow bed. All right, I'm going to fire up the pump. Let's see what she does. I'll turn the slide on. I don't know if you can see it or not. The water is filling the grow bed. That's actually kind of a neat look right there, a little fountain. The instructions do say that this is optional. We may opt out of that. I like that fountain look. Okay, the siphon has fired. And you can see down here that the water is running into the tank. And as the water runs into the tank, it's raising the level of the tank to an overflow where it's going to overflow back down into the sump. Don't know if you can see it or not, but there's the bell siphon at work. There, did you see that little bulb? That was a bulb of air, that was the siphon breaking. At that point, air got in underneath there and broke the siphon. I really didn't know what to put in the grow bed because uh, I'm just not a big plant guy. But I found these two in a local nursery. They're indoor plants. I knew I needed something that required little light. And that one's an ivy. I'm not sure what that is. But, I mean, they the ivy has taken off in the last two weeks. It's just really growing out this way and that way. Um, i got plenty of room for more stuff up here. Is it? comes available. Uh, this other plant is, they've not noticed a thing uh, detrimental. In fact, they're just really, really growing out. Um, noticed a big, big difference in them. So everything seems to be working pretty good. Um, I'm really impressed with the design, the overall design. If you want to get your feet wet in aquaponics or if you teach school, biology or anything like that, this would definitely be a great teaching aid. It's a fun little project. I hope you check them out. It's the aquaponicsource.com or the aquaponicsstore.com and it's called the Aquaponicals. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe.